In 93, somebody figured out a way that, that there were certain bacteria that glyphosate would not kill. And they said we could take a gene out of that bacteria and put it into a corn seed and develop a corn that cannot be killed by glyphosate. So they developed Roundup Ready corn. And that corn, you can pour glyphosate all over it and it will do nothing to it. So now you could fire all of those workers who were expensive and you hire one airplane and they fly over the fields, they saturate the entire landscape with glyphosate. Everything dies except the Roundup Ready corn. And within a couple of years, Roundup Ready corn was now on 90% of the corn, 95% of the corn in the United States is now Roundup Ready corn. So what they, when, they, when they started doing this, are, are, is, there's a direct result? Like you can see the increase in celiac disease? You can see, is this like documented? No, that's not documented. That's I mean, not documented. but the, these are, there are, there's a whole range of diseases that are now, you know, the different levels of science have linked to glyphosate exposure. When we sued Monsanto, the judge needs to make a threshold decision about whether there's sufficient science to show a jury, and that is a very high threshold. So of all of the diseases that are probably caused, probably almost certainly caused by glyphosate, the only one to pass that threshold was the case that we brought for um, for Hodgkin, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So at, th at that point, we had enough rat studies, enough human studies, we had about 10 of each, and we were able to go to the judge and say, this, we got enough science on this now to show that it's, uh, that that non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is being caused by glyphosate. If you like this video and you want to help me become president of the United States, go to kennedy24.com and donate now.